Shut down. Hello, it's Steve Tech, and I'm going to be doing a review on Windows 98. So, let's set it up.
Hello, I'm back, and Windows 98, when it starts up for like the first time, it has this really cool music sort of thing. So, that's the music that plays when Windows 98 starts up. So, let's get to some of the features. I'm pretty sure one of the features is a image editor paint which is new to Windows 98 I'm pretty sure sort of like where the original paint came from but yeah and um no and there's Internet Explorer 4 which came out for Windows 98 and something that I find really weird is you can is you can set .htm files as your background that's sort of like a website thing as your background but along with that you can also set dot bmp dot pcx dot jpeg and dot gif with your as your background as well and um there's microsoft plus which should be in here somewhere Or maybe not. Yeah, probably not. Unless it's on the. No. Microsoft Plus should be on here, but it's not. According to computerhope.com. Um, there's Front Page Express. That should be on here as well. But probably isn't. There's. And also, it starts up, starts up faster. And shut. Oh. Right. It shuts down faster. And there's Windows 98 help desk. And um, Windows can now support up to eight monitors or multiple graphic adapters on a single PC. And It now includes a new hsflop.bpdr, which is a floppy disk driver, and it all improves speed to many diskette drives. Um, there's ability to display cabinet files and opening them. There's the disk defragmenter, the system file checker, 
which is an easy way to verify that the Windows 98 system files have not been modified or corrupted. Um, there's the Windows U up wizard which schedules tune-up jobs to run automatically on a regular basis. I'm going to look at that actually if it's on here. Probably not. Um, there's the Microsoft System Information Utility, which Windows 98 now contains a centralized system, blah blah blah, who cares about all of that. There's a backup utility, new accessibility, accessibility tools, display setting enha enhancements, and the FAT32 conversion utility. Some of these you may have seen in the setup, which I'm going to slow it down so you can read it. And system information tool. Yeah. So, bye.